Hello everyone, this is a quick video about what to do if you currently cannot subscribe to Star Wars The Old Republic, cannot buy cartel coins, or if you did either of those things but your account didn't actually get subscribed or those cartel coins weren't delivered. You might also have seen any of these messages on the SOTOR.com website. Your credentials are incorrect or expired, please try again and reset your password. Or, the EA Billing and Management Services cannot be accessed at this time, please try again later. Or, most commonly, a maintenance message on SOTOR.com when the rest of the site seems to be working as usual. So if any of these things have been happening to you lately, there is a good chance you need to reset your EA account password. If you didn't already have an EA account tied to your email address when you created your Star Wars The Old Republic account, one was created automatically for you as part of the registration, so you need to change that password to fix your Star Wars The Old Republic issues. So first step, go to ea.com slash login. Next step, click forgot your password. Third, in the email or ID box, enter your email address. Lastly, click the box that says I'm not a robot and submit. You're then gonna go to your email inbox and click the link and follow the instructions to reset your password, even if you don't remember ever having a password before. You're going to use this password to log into both your sotor.com account and your EA account now. Now that should fix the ability to subscribe and the ability to buy cartel coins for most players. However, if it does not work, that means your account is fixed and ready to go, but the issue, the maybe the maintenance page you're seeing on Sotor.com, is unfortunately cached or saved to your web browser, and you need to get around that somehow. So the easiest way to get around that is to use a different web browser. For example, if you're using a Windows computer and you're using Microsoft Edge to browse the internet, you can install a free web browser like Chrome. And you can download that for free at google.com slash chrome. And then once that's installed, you can go to the sotor.com website, log into your account, and you should be able to access it now. If you're already using something like Chrome or Firefox and you're on a Windows computer, Microsoft Edge might already be installed by default, so type in your Windows search box, Microsoft Edge, and try logging into your Sotor.com account like that. If you're using a Mac and using Safari to browse, you can also download Chrome for your Mac for free too. Between all of those fixes seems to have fixed a majority of the problems with being able to subscribe or being able to buy cartel coins. However, if it does not, take a look at the thread that I have linked in the description below. Now here's the next issue that occurred because of this problem. Some players have subscribed to the game successfully, they paid, money was taken out of their account, but their account was not successfully upgraded to subscriber status. If this happened to you, don't worry. Customer service for Star Wars The Old Republic is refunding purchases while your account was accidentally disabled. Don't worry about it. The only problem is that right now, support is very limited due to the quarantine, so it's taking longer than normal. Very, very, very important. Do not request a refund or charge back through your credit card or your bank. If you try and get a refund by doing a charge back, your SOTOR account and possibly even your EA account may become automatically banned. This is because charging for something, then causing a charge back is a common tactic used by scammers trying to get free stuff in video games without having to actually pay for it. And it is a huge pain in the butt and sometimes really difficult to get your account re-enabled and get things properly sorted out. So unless you don't mind your Sotor account and EA account crashing and burning, do not do a chargeback. If you don't care and you just want your money, you're welcome to do that though. Right now, the average wait time for replies is currently 10 days, but it will get through eventually. So to email your issue, contact support at Sotor.com by email really important to speed things up, make sure to contact them with the email account that is connected to your Star Wars The Old Republic account, not a different side email. Make sure to let them know that you subscribed, funds were taken out of your account, but your account was not upgraded to subscriber status or you did not receive the cartel coins you paid for. It sounds like once your account is enabled again, so basically you changed your password and you are maybe using a different browser to be able to use your account, you can purchase a subscription if you want to play right now without waiting all the way for your refund. Of course, you're welcome to just wait for your refund or bounce or whatever you want to do in the meantime instead. 
It's been a really crazy bug the last few months, and they're only starting now to post more publicly about how to fix it, what the issue was, and what the workarounds are. So I'm really happy to be able to share this news with you guys. I hope that fixes it for you and answers some of your questions about what the heck is going on. Please spread the news to anyone who you see is having the same issue. If you don't want to make them watch a video, there is going to be a text description link in the description of this video, so you can just send them that that has the full instructions as well as the explanation of what's going on. If you haven't run into me before, my name is Saturista. I make videos about Star Wars The Old Republic, so if you want to show your appreciation for this video or want to have other Star Wars The Old Republic videos show up on your YouTube homepage, subscribe to this channel. See you guys later, and may the Force be with you.